Hey guys, Friday, April the 12th, 2024, US pre-market open on that gas. As you can see, we failed 185, value area low on the monthly, on the uh, weekly. You can see that we went to $1.94, April 14 low, and just failed. The bears came in very aggressive this week, so it was a very ugly candle, very, very ugly downside. Uh, from right here to that February 20 low, to this last week was uh, pretty much seven weeks, and on the eighth week they uh, slammed it. And you can see that I adjusted some things. The yellow is the uh, gap fills right here, and this one right here. And there's a target I have of 232, and this is the dollar 94. And you can see it on the market profile that it was already. It's giving you a heads up that this is going to be a tough area to a breakthrough and you can see it on the dollar 94 high that we are there now we're below anchored vwap we're kind of finding support here like around this a dollar 74 dollar 75 so let's see if this holds uh we broke three candles back so let's see if this is a base now to maybe retest this high for uh next week at our simple glance the mac uh, d is still positive on the monthly and on the weekly, but we lost our PPS uh, buy signal. And also, we are now below the mobile bands, which is $1.80. And also, uh, the lower range would be $1.65. So now we're back into the chop fest. Uh, we need to at least break above 180 again to uh, get out of this cloud or this mobile bands. But so far now, we're back to the noise, so back and forth. And on the daily, you see now we got a PPS sell signal. We're hovering around the 20 SMA. We're below the 50. MACD got negative, and you can see prices went higher while there was a divergence from right here. And uh, you can see volume to the uh, bears were very aggressive, and they went over the average right there, which is that's the 50. The so volatility is going to increase, and this has surprised me that we got very ugly once we got into this cloud. But don't be surprised. There's going to be more volatility once we get in here, if we could regain back and get back into the cloud. I was expecting or hoping at least to kiss the linear regression high, but I knew that that 194 was there too, so we didn't get to uh, penetrate there. Uh, and also penetrate to get the uh, to the $2 level. So this is the Andrews Pitchfork. I had to modify it, um, adjust it to here. You can see that this is this 50% from here, and it was finding support here, and then popped. Uh, they didn't get to uh, get higher, but then fail right here and pushed lower. And now we cracked this angle right here, which is the regular one, and this is the modified one. So I got two levels I'm watching to see. If we could regain, this would be some support right here at the 25%. If this $70, $1.74 doesn't hold, you got this $1.73. But I'm not promising anything. You could probably crack it. And this is your last leg of defense right here of an angle of 163. I mean, if it gets down there, it'll obviously fill our gap fill right here, which would be uh, good. But then that's once that's fill. There's nothing down here as of that I'm aware of. Besides that one I showed you earlier. On the uh, midpoint chart, a couple of things. This is the pivot high of 194. From there we fail. We're below the uh, midpoint on the monthly, which is $1.79. But holding support here at this $1.74. And I measured, this is a 30-minute chart. I measured all these retracements from the uh, gap open of the change of contract uh, to see uh, the difference you know, once this measurement happened and copied them and duplicated it here at this high. And I wanted to see if price action could get above the measured move that it has done in the past. And once I saw that we couldn't get above the angle, because once you could get above the angle, the probabilities are higher that this is just a regular correction and that it's going to, you know, test 194 and continue pushing higher. But we were failing here from a measured move in the past and that's when I was like all right this is probably not gonna this is not gonna work out um and that happened around what five o'clock around five o'clock the time I kind of wake up 
So I have my stop around a dollar eighty-two. I raise it up and put it here, and got stopped out in the U.S. session, and I came down, and that's that's pretty much it. So it's right now at this twenty-five percent. Let's see if it holds of a dollar seventy-five, but we are below the uh, midpoint of the week, which is a dollar uh, eighty, and for today. I'm not expecting that much price action. This is the low that we have, a dollar seventy-five. Your midpoint is a dollar eighty-two. Uh, if it gets above at least a dollar eighty-two, your targets would be a dollar eighty-nine, dollar ninety-three, and dollar ninety-six. I don't think it's going to get up there to, uh, today, but I can see it probably going sideways or maybe even testing one seventy-two all the way to one sixty-nine. Looking at our square of nine, we were here. I was hoping to get to at least 197, but the 194 held. And I should have put my stop around 1989, just because this is a 90 degree. It should have held here, but it didn't. And I put mine here, and I got stopped out. So I lost all this gain right here. But, you know, that's part of trading. I originally had it at here while it was dancing all around here. And this, once I realized what was happening, I put it here. It was already too late. Things are moving fast. So we are 174, 175 around here. Uh, could it oscillate now between 169 and 176? Possible. Maybe even 163. Uh, maybe even fill the gap. Could go past 163, but we'll take baby steps. But so far, this is the range. Uh, in order for us to at least kiss 183 again, we need to close above 176, and we're kind of hovering around that right now. Once we could go up here and kind of hold this, then I'll be back to a 190 and kind of maybe oscillate, maybe like this for next week, if we could stay above 176. But if we can't, uh, it could probably oscillate between 163 and 169. Or maybe even lower to fill that gap fill. So we'll uh, see for next week, looking at the statistical calendar, looking at the uh, commitments of trade for to see if anything has changed. And then I'll take it from there. I well, hope you like this video. I'll keep you posted on my thoughts on that, guys.